know, the Sunny Book Central Crack Asos Tarot. Um, hopefully, you all are doing well today. Blessings and abundance to you all. Love unlimited as always. Uh, please do make take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it when you all do. And please share if you know someone who needs to hear this message. We are going to be doing reading for Virgo. I feel like to go ahead and get on, do a reading for my Virgos. Um, Today, let me see what's going on in you all's energy, spirits. We uh, invoke our angels of light, divine beings, heavenly hosts, protectors in the spirit realm, guidance for the journey. Um, what's going on with my Virgo spirit? Happening for Virgos. This reading is for Virgo spirits. Connect us, align us with truth, wisdom, and understanding. And the divine messages that the Virgo is needing at this time, please. Step one. Closing an important contract. <clears throat> Something is closing out in your energy. Something is ending here. Um, Virgo. Yeah, something is being gossiped about here. Friends are possibly gossiping about you. Um talking about your current situation, but it's regarding something that's ending in your energy, Virgo. Something very important in your life. There could also be a court battle showing up here. Some of you could be getting a divorce or just uh, battling something here. Actually, you know something? This looks like an, uh, there was a battle that took place or some type of huge fight that broke out, Virgo. Um, and somebody seeking revenge or this could be you. Seeking revenge. And this is what everybody's gasping about. Yeah, somebody that feels like they can't make it without you. Hmm. Let's see. Let's get messages from here. Going on for Virgo, please. Yes, Virgo. So we do see something very huge. Um, could have been a tower moment happening in your life, uh, but definitely an ending here. Something, there could have been a betrayal here because someone is seeking revenge. And there's a huge battle going on. Um, just because it says court battle doesn't mean that you're actually in court, you know, or um, getting a divorce or anything like that. Um, you very well could be for some of you, but I really truly feel this is giving me like five of wands energy. Like a battle, a fight. Something broke out or broke loose. What's going on? Yeah, it caused a lot of sorrow. We have sorrow showing up here. Loss, grief. And you could be experiencing definitely some sorrow, loss, grief, or falling into depression here. Or feeling depressed over this ending. Um, something very, someone very important to you. Okay, we have foundation, the foundation. Something that you were trying to establish a foundation with here. This could be with family, um, security. Some, something, someone where you felt very secure um, has broken your trust here, has broken, yeah. Somebody that was bluffing here, wearing a mask. Oh, we have uh, bluff and divine masculine. Yeah, this could be a soul tie here somewhere you're dealing with um, who is now feeling abandoned in their energy. This is their energy showing up, feeling abandoned and confused because the foundation has been broken. So we do see a soulmate showing up in your reading. Um, okay, intuition. But your intuition here is very heavy regarding the matters of your heart. There is. I mean, your heart's on fire with desire for this person. Yeah, we all have intimacy showing up as well. Yeah, this is a very, very um, deep connection, inner knowing that this person is longing for you too, secretly. Hmm. But you're, you're, you feel that there's I feel some of you may feel that this person was intimate or they built up an intimate connection with someone else. Hmm. 
or you feel like this person is hiding something from you. I'm getting the high priestess energy and inner knowing about something being hidden. Or someone is hiding their feelings, their true feelings for you. Let's see. Yeah, longing. What did I say at the bottom of the deck? Longing, craving for you. And you both craving for each other. Let's get another rule of messages from this deck for Virgo. Happening for my Virgos. Out here in the streets. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know why I just heard that. Out here in these out here in these streets. <laughs> what happened, Virgo? You caught them out here in these streets. <laughs> Trying to do the uh, you know. But don't you don't not her over here in regret. Mm. Mm. All right, uh, Spirit, give us messages for Virgo. Okay, we have commitment. Yeah, this was a very important commitment, a committed relationship, so tight. And this person's feeling very sorrowful here. There was a break in the trust of the commitment. They are wanting you. Yeah. Wanting a future with you, actually, Virgo. Okay, we have inseparable. I mean, look at this. This is a bond. Oh, man. This person became a victim of their habits. Wow. And that's what's been holding them back from you, Virgo. But there's unfinished business between you two. This person, like I said, is very much so reminiscing over you. Feeling rejected by you and just now recognizing your true value. Yeah, I just saw soul contract. This person is afraid of losing you because, like I said, of the habits that they have, uh, which has led to the secrets that they're keeping. They daydream about you, hoping that the soul tie it has not been broken. Um, yeah, I mean, this person is really craving. Let's see, escape. Yeah, see, they want to escape the truth. And they're hoping that they'll be able to escape um, you finding out the secrets that they do have. Yeah, I left when things got hard. Or it could just be they're running, you know. But one thing I do see is they're running towards you. Yeah, we have reunion. We will always come back. Yeah, they're going to turn from the runner to running towards you. Yeah, see, before they were escaping, like I said, escaping, uh, possibly non-committal, or there was a question, but they're going to turn from running away from you to to uh, running towards you, Virgo, to reveal something to you. Yeah, they want forgiveness from you. I mean, there's a chemistry between you two, this unmatched, unmatched here, Virgo. Neglected. Yeah, see, they neglected you. <laughs> yeah. There was a lack of intimacy here, bonding. Um, and, yeah, see, they say they failed to give you what you needed. Oh, wow. Yeah, this person has got this some serious karma coming in. You know, this person is experiencing right now, Virgo. We have shadow side. See, um, their shadow side was revealed. Yeah, you made them realize their flaws. And see, that's, you know, we have gossip showing up again. So, your friends, don't do, be careful who you're talking to, um, Virgo. Because they are gossiping if you don't want your business out there. About the damage, the broken relationship, you all separating and all that. Um, but don't, don't tell these people, Virgo, what's going on in your business. Because you know what? They'll be the very ones trying to get back on uh, over in your soulmate's face. <laughs> And be trying to talk to them, trying to slide a number or something. So, why are they running around talking about you, Virgo? <laughs> they better leave my Virgos alone. Stop playing. They better they better call Beyonce and and, and find out. <laughs> um, detachment. Yeah, I had to let this go so I could clear my mind. Yeah, so this person's been detached, but like I said, that's part of the bluff. The bluff they're playing. Um. A um, cover up. Let me see. Let me see. I'm gonna use this deck. 
Okay, what we got here for this section? Uh, spirits for the grief and this commitment breaking apart here. What's going on, spirits? What's going on for my Virgos? What's going on? Mm, King of Swords. Yeah, look at that. This is the only card that was out. Did you see that? This person has something to say here. There's some type of truth here that needs to be revealed. That this person... Let me take a look, another look at this here. Hmm. You know something, Virgo? What I don't like um, about this energy is this person is hiding the truth. See? It's like they got a trick up their sleeve. This person got some type of trick up their sleeve. Yeah, look at that at the bottom of the deck. The emperor. Or at least they did in the past. But now wanted to move forward with you. Uh, Virgo, yeah. They, they love you, King of Cups. Yeah, that's ready. See, that's what they, they want to <clears throat> move into karma water with you. And express these loves here. Look at that moon. You see that person? That's the mask they're wearing. Because they're hiding their true feelings about you. The love that they have for you. person could have been hurt in the past. What else do we have for sorrow? Um, and grief for the commitment break. It was an ending here. And what's that one? Okay, you have the Ace of Wands. You have the Two of Wands. Actually, let me do it this way. Two of Cups. Yeah. The Hangman. Yeah, this person's feeling stuck now. They have a lot of passion for you, desire for you. <coughs> and that's that longing that we talked about earlier. Um, Virgo, that's that longing. There's a lot of passion they have inside for you. Um, and it's like they're waiting for you to fill their cup, you know. This person is feeling stuck whether or not to come towards you. But they are definitely coming. My goodness. I mean, there is love here. Um. There is definitely love here between the two of you, a soulmate connection. But you both have been, I mean, it's you're stuck here. Or this person left you hanging here. But they haven't truly walked away from you. <laughs> That's the interesting part. Yeah, see, there's another side to this person. See, this person let their dark side, their shadow side overtake them. Let's get foundation. I mean, you all are inseparable. I mean, this is really when you guys are together, Virgo, and when you all are aligned. I mean, it's pure magic. I can just see that. from. I can hear that from spirit. Pure magic. Oh, why is this card not supposed to be here? Four of Wands. Yeah, what did I say? Look at this. I mean, look at the two of you. I mean, it's like, what I really see, it's like this is the type of connection where you all can share anything with one another. You could be who you want to be with each other. There's no bound, you know, or, well, I'm not saying no boundaries, but no um, self-limiting beliefs when you're with this person. Or when they're with you, or they feel like they can completely open up, or they know they can. Um, but four of wands energy is here. That's eleven eleven moving in the right direction. Um, four of pentacles. Yeah, see, this person's been holding back. They've been holding back who they truly are, you know, and opening up fully to you, Virgo. That's what's going on. Intuition. See? 
And they know you know, Virgo, that they left when things got hard. You know. Yeah, there was an ending. What did I say as soon as I said that? Scorpio energy. Ten of Cups. An ending to the Ten of Cups. Your happiness. The happiness of this foundation here. See? Um, five of Cups. But like I said, amidst this loss and this grief, this sorrow, we have that again showing up with the Five of Cups energy. The Two of Cups are still standing. And it's like, here you are waiting on this person. Like, where you at? <laughs> you know? And I just love how this fire um, is going up, releasing to this moon. There's so much desire. My goodness. Um, passion. Like I said, this person will be reaching out to you soon. We have the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you're the one. Intimacy. Eight of Swords. I mean, you are... This person is all up in their head thinking about you. Four of Cups. And about, like I said, very afraid of missing an opportunity with you. Very afraid. And now thinking about... How them wearing their masks and rejecting you. Now they're wanting to come towards you and take the mask off. Oh, Virgo. Yes, they are. I mean, and they know they've neglected you. They're very, very worried about losing you because they re they've neglected you. Um, and giving you the intimacy, uh, the closeness that you deserve. Yeah, they're there again coming with a passionate um, apology possibly. Passionate communication. Yeah. Coming to you with the truth. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. About how selfish they've been. And they wounded themselves in turn here. But they're going to come towards you, Virgo. With a, a, a huge show of emotion here. To bring a rebirth to the connection. It is so. Because the Divine said so. We have judgment here. Judgment this person is facing karma. Uh, they are being judged, uh, therefore, by the divine due to the lies, the deception that they caused in this commitment, in this relationship. Um, and they did this to an earth angel, queen of pentacles. Mm -hmm. What else do we have? Um, let me see, see, see. What do I want to use? Let me see. Some messages for Virgo. What's that? We at 17. Let's see. All right. Let's see what's happening. Okay. We have Dust Devil moving out of stagnation. Yeah. What did I say? See, this commitment, it is definitely seeming stagnated right now. Or like there's no communication or it's a stalemate. But the number 15 is here. Positive and, you know, that's the number 6. So that's definitely you moving. It's you all moving into calmer water. We also have 1111 here. You all moving in the right direction. Coming from a storm, you know, that took place, which was that ending that we saw. But the closing of the chapter or the contract is... Like that Ten of Wands energy, Virgo. You being able to uh, move from a time of struggle, carrying a lot of weight, um, into a new beginning. And that is falling into um, this commitment here. We have one and five. That's also, you know, change, transition. Yeah, moving out of this stagnation. Yeah. First breath, beginner's mind at the bottom of the deck. A new beginning. Is taking place here behind the scenes. Oh, wow. We have number 33 here. The Divinity. Joyful Muse. Inspiration. You're going to be inspired. I feel like the communication is going to take place between you two with this person coming forward <clears throat> with how they truly feel, Virgo. Um, it's going to create an opening, a new door here. And you're going to be inspired. It's going to be music to your ears. Yeah. You guys coming together. We have the community card. A lot of yellow. Happiness. <clears throat> it's going to be music to your ears with this person. And you're not going to be... See, what, what I'm getting, Virgo, what you're expecting, you know, because you've been through it before, right? You've done it all. 
but you're expecting the worst. But I think this person's going to surprise you this time here, Virgo. I'm really seeing that. Um, you know, from, reve from revenge to um, intimacy. <laughs> you know, from revenge to um, longing. You know, from revenge to realization. That's what I'm saying. Because this person realizes through this ending how much you mean to them. Spirit of the river moving, movement forward uh, toward adventure. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this is going to be meditation and stillness. We have the number 50, 5 again, 11, 11 again at the bottom of the deck. Wow. You know, deep quiet. There's been a lot of consideration. I think both of you have been doing in the quietness. In the stillness of your of your own soul, um, <clears throat> and there's been a lot of overview of this uh, disagreement here, this argument, this fight, and you know I see both of you thinking about the bigger picture here, um, and surrendering. My goodness, surrendering to a rebirth. That is amazing. They're going to surrender, you know, to the light, a sky dancer. New, to this new beginning with you, Virgo. Wow. That's amazing. It is beautiful. Um, Let's see. What about intentions? What can we get? Um, actually. Yeah. Anyhow, or let's get... Actually, um, what do I want to ask about spirit? I want to know about uh, possible outcomes. Uh, spirit, tell me about possible outcomes for Virgo in this situation. Possible outcome. Possible outcome. Hmm. Never wanted to come out. Thank you, spirits. Okay. All right. Thank you, spirits. Let's see what's going on. Okay. We have the two of pentacles and the reverse. We have the eight of cups and the upright. We have the Queen of Pentacles in the upright. Uh, we have the Prince of Cups in the upright. We also have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So what I do see is you all being, like I said, in their stalemates. We do see that here with the Two of Pentacles being in the reverse. And there being an in the... An, um, indecisiveness about whether to communicate, whether this is the right time and all of that. Um, and I see you, you know, uh, walking, this person walking towards you, coming towards you with the Eight of Cups, coming directly towards you to communicate. The Prince of Cups, and they're going to communicate about where they went wrong in this connection, Virgo. That's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to come in because they want to right this wrong, this ten of swords, them stabbing you in the back. They know they betrayed you. Um, six, but look at that. You're going from, and what I love about this is the ten of swords in the reverse, which truly indicates this person does mean business. And that six of pentacles, whereas before there was a there was not an equal give and take. That's what this person knows, and they're ready to. Ascend to a higher level of consciousness here with you. Oh, uh, what about all, all this? Yeah. See? You left this person on out in the cold. Justice is here. And the justice is then returning to take the blindfolds off. You got two of swords in the reverse. Yeah. This person's ready to take their... That's them taking their mask off. Press the cups. Let's see. Oh, okay. Okay. Ten of Wands. Yeah. 
They're going to come directly to talk about you doing everything. I mean, this person knows exactly. You know, this person is very regretful here of not investing. They're going to, they want to communicate and, and have a truthful conversation about why they haven't invested um, in you the way you have. Yeah, and this cycle coming to a close. That cycle is ending with the world card. Um, and then we have Princess of Cups. Yeah, look at that. That's you two communicating. Healthy communication, Virgo. I mean, that's amazing. This is great. I really enjoy um, your reading today, Virgo. Um, what I'm going to do... Let's go ahead and let you guys go. That's your reading for today, Virgo. Hopefully, this all helped you all in your journey. Um, please do remember to like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it when you all do. And also, um, do share if you know someone who needs to hear this message. Many blessings and abundance to you all on your amazing, beautiful journey called your life. And I will see you all on the next reading. Take care.